That massive heat wave has put utility companies across the country to the test, scrambling to keep up with record demand. But relief may be on the way, not only for that heat wave, but for utilities too, thanks to a breakthrough new technology. Scott Cohn has the story. They're sweltering in New York, in Boston, across the country. Living in this heat is hard enough. Utilities have to work in it. That means delivering power the instant you turn on a switch. As a result, the electricity grid is built um, in an extremely complex fashion, and it's built for the very, very, very peak consumption. But what if a utility could store electricity ahead of time for days like these, generating power when demand is low, then selling it when demand is high? That's what they're working on in this lab in Edison, New Jersey. EOS Energy Storage is developing batteries that could, they say, replace entire power plants. Steve Hellman is EOS's president. It changes the whole economic, it changes the entire infrastructure. It changes the whole paradigm of how we produce and consume energy. The idea has been around for decades, but the challenge has been the cost. There needs to be a pretty significant decline in the cost of batteries. We would say basically 50 to 70 percent cost decline from where we are today. EOS uses zinc, cheaper and more plentiful than the lithium in most rechargeable batteries. There are about 400 of the batteries in this module, and this alone would be enough to power a small home for an entire afternoon. By next year, EOS hopes to have a much larger version that could power a small neighborhood for days. Business development manager Philippe Bouchard is working with utilities and regulators. It's about putting pencil to paper on the business case for this technology and demonstrating that we can, in fact, save the utilities and their ratepayers a lot of mo money. But it's not just utilities that are interested. Among EOS's investors is a commercial real estate company with the idea that buildings in the future could come with batteries included. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Scott Cohn in Edison, New Jersey.